Hello everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're all doing well. Uh, thank you for applying to IUT. This video is made to help you understand how the online exam will be proceeding, which is being held for the first time in IUT admission history. Please watch this video carefully to the end and be well prepared to exercise your unhindered capacity at the actual exam. Now, let's get started with the tutorial. Due to COVID-19, IUT entrance exam will be conducted online in forms of online written exam and online interview. Because of the nature of the test, there are several things you are required to prepare beforehand. You will be able to take part in the orientation and the exam successfully only if you prepare those things properly following the instructions. The basic tool used for the exam is a video conferencing application named Zoom, through which you and your proctor will get connected. Make 100% sure the application is installed properly on your phone before the orientation. You are asked to sign and submit the app via Google survey. The link for the app will be sent to all our applicants by email. When you are taking the online written exam, you can use the answer sheet provided by Inhai University only. We are going to send the answer sheet via by email. All our applicants are required to print out two answer sheets ahead of time. One, you're going to use it at the orientation session. The other, you're going to use on the actual date of the exam. Speaking of online exam, stable internet connection, PC, and smartphone are three of the most essential conditions. You are required to set up your environment like following. You first need to choose a quiet and solitary place. When choosing a place for the exam, make sure it is enclosed by walls or at least by partitions, therefore affording no open space, including windows in front. You will not be allowed to proceed if you fail to follow this instruction, leaving open space on your front side. And then you need to prepare your computer and smartphone with stable access to network. And also be sure to set your place completely solitary. If any other person is seen or heard or noticed in any form or fashion, you will be disqualified from the exam. You also need to check and make sure your devices don't cause any trouble or glitches, such as battery running low, your mic volume control, and also your camera setting. You will be held responsible for the result caused by malfunctions or uncontrolled disturbances stemming from your devices. In addition, using a dual monitor is not allowed. And please be fully aware that for the sake of fairness in the full course of the exam, if your network condition becomes unstable, for example, if your video stops streaming or uh, if your screen goes black, or if you do not comply with any given instructions from the proctor. The proctor is authorized to remove you from the ongoing exam. Then we're done with the setting up for the exam. Now I'm going to show you an example of how to place your phone as you hear an instruction from the proctor in your exam. If you have a smartphone holder, it would be much more convenient, but if you don't, prepare two thick books or any two heavy solid objects. Fix your phone between those books. Place it 50 to 60 centimeters away from your chest. And carefully position your smartphone camera at an angle from which the screen includes your face, your hands, and your PC monitor all together. Please double check 
if all of those are showing properly on your smartphone camera. And please beware of unnecessary smartphone adjustments. If you touch or move your smartphone in the exam and end up not showing your PC monitor and both your hands are properly in the screen, you will be declared disqualified. Now, I'm going to tell you how things will be proceeding step by step on the actual exam date. You will have a chance to practice it at the orientation session, but do never forget to familiarize yourself with the rules and methods before taking the exam. Things that are allowed to be up on your desk are passport, pencil, including mechanical pencils, eraser, and one answer sheet. If you are found to have any other item than these, it will be counted as cheating. As informed already, you have to have your computer smartphone in place with a stable internet connection at your own exam site. Enter the online exam site at the appointed time through the link provided by email and wait for your entrance to be allowed. The email will be sent to you about 40 minutes before the exam and at your entrance Please activate your video and your audio. In addition, you are required to unlock your screen rotation on your smartphone. Show your passport and your face on Zoom following the instruction as the proctor checks the identification. Okay, let me check your passports. Show me your passport. Thank you. Thank you for your cooperation. And position your phone in accordance with the guidelines you have been informed of. If the identification step is completed for all the applicants, the proctor will send the exam file by email. When the email arrives, you need to download the exam file on your desktop. Open up the file following the instruction and stay ready. The proctor will soon announce the password. Then you begin to solve the questions by unlocking the exam file with the given password. As for the paper use, you are only allowed to use your answer sheet for writing your answers and solving processes. Using any other paper is not allowed. In addition, don't forget to write your name on your answer sheet. And as explained already, your solving processes will be evaluated as well. So be careful not to make them look messy. But be sure to leave them all neat and clear. As for the exam time, if you are taking a math test only, you will have 30 minutes. But if you're taking a test for both math and physics, you'll have 60 minutes to answer the questions. Six short answer essay type questions will be presented per subject. Answers left without the solving processes 
will be given zero point. So do never forget to write both for your answers and solving processes from which the answers are derived on your answer sheet. When the exam ends, the proctor will signal the end by saying, time is up. Then you stop writing, put down your pencils, and take up your answer sheet and show it to the proctor immediately, just like this actual example. If you keep writing after the end announced, refusing to listen to the proctor's instruction, you will be immediately disqualified. So please proceed in perfect compliance with the instructions from the beginning to the end. When you are showing your answer sheet to the proctor on your smartphone camera, please double check and be sure that the entire contents are being displayed in the screen. The posture process is over for all applicants. The proctor will give you an instruction and you will need to take a photo of your answer sheet using your smartphone. And be careful not to capture a blurred image. And then you send the saved images to your proctor by email. The email must arrive within 10 minutes after the end announced. You must put in your name as the title of your email. As the email submissions of the applicants are checked by the proctor, the proctor will announce that the whole examination process is over. Thus far, I've told you on how the exam begins and ends. Once again, we'd like to ask you for your cooperation and compliance through all these procedures as this whole exam is going online. Be sure to keep those rules and guidelines in mind and follow them as you take the exam. The exam will be recorded all throughout the process. And proctors will not receive any questions while in the exam other than giving instructions. And this is it for the tutorial today. Thank you very much for your attention and I wish you all the best for your exam.